view us. The teaching that flesh and blood is in heaven is not a 21st century or 20th century or 19th century lie. No. This came out of Europe yeah. from Rome, Italy. Yeah. That's right. To this day, yeah. the Catholic Church still teach that Jesus is in heaven with the flesh and blood body, That's which right. is a lie. That's a lie. Greetings and welcome. There are many false teachers that teach and cause others to believe that Jesus Christ is currently a man of flesh and blood in heaven. Pastor Gino Jennings in this video clip debunks those false teachings. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, I recommend that you hit that subscribe button below and hit that bell so that you can be notified when we release these life-changing videos. Now let us listen to Pastor Gino Jennings. Timothy, one mediator between God and man, the man Christ right. Jesus. First Timothy chapter 2 and at verse 5. Listen good. For there is one God and one, one mediator, mediator between God and men. Who is it? The man Christ Jesus. What part is the mediator? The man Christ Jesus. And what part died? Truly this man was the son of God. The man was Mary's son. That's yeah. right. The man was the only begotten of the father, not the spirit. That's right. Ain't nobody beget the spirit. No. Spirit always was. That's no. Right. Somebody wrote me and said, do we still call him the son of God now? Yes. Yes. He still got that title son. That's right. But he no longer have a body of flesh and blood. That's right. They put the body down in the grave and he lost the blood on the cross. Right. And for the body to live again, life had to come. Yeah. So he switched lives. Yeah. He switched lives. That's right. He lost the natural life, blood, on the cross. And on the third day, the spirit got in the natural body. Natural body. And when the spirit got in the natural body, the spirit took the place of the blood that it used to have. Yeah, that's right. That's what the Bible says. He rose a quickening spirit. 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 What you mean? Spirit quickened the body. That's right. It revived the body. That's right. And when the spirit revived the body, God glorified the body. When the spirit took it over, that's when the body was glorified. For to this end, it no longer lived by the natural. That's right. Because it had no natural life. That's right. So the Bible said to this end. In Romans 14 verse 9. What is it? For to this end, Christ both died. He both died. And rose. Rose. And revived. And revived. That he might be Lord both of the he dead. He may be Lord. Of both the dead and living. Of dead and living. That's Paul right. saying, in that he liveth. He liveth. In that he liveth. That's right. In that he liveth. He said he liveth by the power of God. So yes, he's still called son, but that glorified body is not no begotten flesh and blood human being. That's right. He still got the same shape. Still got the same form. Still got the same figure. That's right. Still got the same fashion. That's right. Still got the same image. That's why when he rose, he showed the image, he showed the nail prints. Yeah. Put your hands on my side, don't be faceless, but believe. believe. Thomas said, my Lord. And my God. And my God. One false prophet said, the reason why Thomas said that he was shocked. I don't care nothing about his reason. I want to know that Thomas tell the truth when he called him Lord, Lord and, and God. God. And God. Don't bring me his reason. He That's said right. Lord and God. And the Bible said, know you the Lord. That he's, he's God. He's so when he ascended up into heaven, he never at no time ever glorified a body and took it and let it remain. Since he's been God. No. So for the first time, he took a body into heaven that never had been there. That's true. Never That's true. did the spirit get in a body and then take it over and give it all the characteristics of divine. Who? Take it, listen at this. In the book of Philippians chapter 3 and verse 21. Oh, this is, this, this, this is so good. You got to get it like Simeon got it. That's right. By revelation. That's right. Listen. Philippians chapter 3, we'll start at verse 20. And For our conversation is in heaven. Our, yeah. hmm. our conversation is in heaven. Is spirit. Amen. Why? We ain't in heaven talking. That's right. But our conversation is there. Is in heaven. Is in heaven. From which also we look for the Savior. Wait a minute. 
We look for the Savior. The Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ. Who shall change our vile body. Look at here. Look at here. <laughs> Amen. It compares you. Yes. Where we are now. Who shall change He's our vile change body. Your vile body. That it may be fashioned and like. And it may be formed like. Unto his glorious body. 15 chapter 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Follow me in your Bible. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. And we'll start reading at verse Read quick. 42. How are the dead raised? Some fool would say. 1 Corinthians 15 and at verse 35. Come on, son. But some man will say, some how, man will say how, how are the are dead, the dead raised, raised, raised And with what body do what they What kind go? of body do they have? Thou fool. What do we call them? Thou fool. I want it to be good for you to always leave me out because I call for fool. That's right. Bible says, he that calls his brother a fool is in danger of hell. I'm not calling my brother a fool. I'm calling you one. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You that fight Jesus Christ as God, you're not my brother. You a fool. That's Amen. True. Amen. So I'm not in danger of hell. I'm all right, you, fool. You all right. Huh? That's right. Lord, take God. But some man will say. All right, come on, William. Some man will say, how are the dead How raised are up? The, you, you, they, they haven't got this. They haven't got this. Since it was written, they haven't got it right. That's right. All right. How are the dead raised up? How are the dead raised? And, and with what with body do what they come? Body. What body? Someone say, well, when uh, Lazarus died and rose, he had a glorified body. Ain't no Bible say that. No. And his body was not glorified because he's dust. He went back to dust. That's right. Yeah. But no, he wasn't glorified. The Bible ain't said that. He went right back to dust. That's, That's right. True. Listen. But some man will say, how are the dead how raised up? How are the up? dead raised up? And with what and body with do they come? What body? What kind of body do they have when they come Th back? Thou fool. Yeah, fool. That which thou sowest is not quickened. That which thou sowest is not revived. Except it die. It got to die first. And that which thou sowest. And that which you plant. Thou sowest not that body that shall you be. You didn't plant the body that will be later on. But bear grain. All you plant was the body the way it presently was. It may chance of wheat or of some other grain. You know anyone plant corn don't plant stalks. That's right. That's right. I ain't met a farmer yet that go around planting stalks. That's okay. right. He plant grain. That's grain. Right. Then he have to wait uh, for God to quicken the grain. That's right. Glory to God. When the power of the creator quickened the grain, the grain is resurrected from the dead, and you got a tender green stalk coming out the ground or coming out the green. Oh, yeah. That's right. Oh, yeah. Now what came out yeah. have a total different body. Yeah. Than what went in. That's right. Do you see what I'm telling you? Go ahead. When you get an apple, you see the beginning stage of the apple and the ending stage. Someone say, how is that? When you go home, if you don't have no apples, go to the market and cut it. <laughs> and get the seed out. That's right. That's the beginning. That's right. And when you have the actual apple, that's the ending. That's right. <laughs> that's right. You got the seed. That's the part that died. And you got the apple. That's the actual part that was resurrected from the dead. That's right. And the seed and the apple have two different lives. That's right. That's true. Yeah? That's right. Two different lives. That's right. What you can do with one, you can't do with the other. Right. You don't make an apple pie from seed. You make the apple pie from the apple. That's right. Do you see what I'm telling you? And that which thou sowest. But you extract the seed from the apple and plant that in the ground so you put it in the grave. You actually put in a little body. That's right. You put a little body in. Then God quickens it. And then when he quickens it, it's resurrected. You come out and check it, you're like... My plan is growing, Hercules. My plan is growing, Hercules. Hercules. It's quickened. Quickened. I don't care how little it is. It's quickened. That's yeah. right. Stop begin to grow. Yeah. And then the apples begin to bloom on the tree. That's right. It went from one stage of glory to another. To another. Do you see what I'm telling you? That's right. That's exactly what happened to the son of man. That's right. When they pierced him in the side, out came blood and water. Moses said, the life of all flesh, it lies in his blood. So when they pierced him in the side, out came blood and water. 
He didn't die and come back and then found some more blood and took it in heaven no. and put graffiti all around the throne. I remember some nutty bishop out of Titusville, Florida, came and spoke for us one day. We was on Frankfurt Avenue. He said, Jesus died. Bishop Jury was living then. Sister Jones' father. He said, uh, Jesus died, and when he came back, the false prophet said he scooped up a bucket of blood and took it into heaven and threw it all around the throne. You know, Bishop Jury was old school. Bishop Jury started barking but while the man was up there. He said, oh, he, he took it up into heaven, huh? I said, Bishop, don't bother. He said, oh, he took a blood, a bucket, a bucket of blood into heaven, huh? Bishop said, you old liar. Oh, he was so frustrated. I said, Bishop, be cool. Be cool. We'll get him. Come on. We'll get him. He said, boy, you better get him. You better get him. <laughs> so when the, when the false prophet got through, I nudged him. I said, I want to talk to you after service. He, right. he knew what I wanted. He knew what I wanted. So after service, he kindly got gone. <laughs> he got out of there so fast. Viewers, the teaching that flesh and blood is in heaven is not a 21st century or 20th century or 19th century lie. No. This came out of Europe yeah. from Rome, Italy yeah. That's right. to this day. The Catholic Church still teach that Jesus is in heaven with a flesh and blood body, That's which right. is a lie. That's a lie. That's ignoring totally what God said through the Apostle Paul. 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 50. God made it plain. Now this I say, brethren. This I say, brethren. That flesh and blood. That flesh and blood. Cannot inherit. What? Flesh and blood cannot. No, they went there one time. Flesh and blood cannot. Enter. No, no, with God all things are possible. Flesh and blood cannot. Let me tell you something. Anybody can say with God all things are possible. But let me say this. When that statement is made and that scripture is quoted, you still got it right, you divide it. Because I can come back and say, no, he can't do everything. Come on, Brigitte, I'm leaving the door open for you to swing. I'm leaving the door cracked so you can jump through it and swing. That's right. Oh, God said with them all things is possible. That's right. That's what God said. That's right. And Geno Jennings come along and say, no, he can't do everything. In the book of 2 Timothy chapter 2. Let me give you a Bible. 2 Timothy chapter 2, we'll start at verse 12. That's what? If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. Yes. If we deny him, he also will deny us. Yes. If we believe not, yet he abideth faithful. Yes. He cannot. Deny himself. The Bible said not only can he deny himself, the Bible said it's impossible. That's right. For God to lie. To lie. To lie. Yet this is a God that do all things. That's right. But there's certain things he won't do, he won't can't do. do, not even capable of doing. That's right. And he's still the Almighty. St that's right. But when it comes to lying, Amen. impossible. It is written. Impossible. It is written. That's right. It's impossible. For God to lie. Impossible. This is after he said, with him, all things is possible. But it, then he come back and use possible, but put another phrase on front of it. Impossible. It's impossible. Yeah. He can't do it. Yeah. He don't have the capability. Right. He don't even, he's not even strong enough to lie. Yeah. If God lied, he'll be a fraud. In the book of Hebrews chapter and 6. And if God will lie, that'll justify all liars. That's right. Hebrews chapter 6 in that verse. And if God lied, he would have to send himself to hell. That's right. God said all liars. That's right. All, all liars, liars shall have their they part have in, the in the lake that burns right. with fire and brimstone. So when these preachers come and tell you 
Thank God can do anything. Flesh and blood is in heaven. They are manipulating the scriptures that make you a Bible carrying sucker. That's right. Whatever God say he can't do, can't do. he can't do. That's right. And he ought to know what he can't do. In the book of Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 18. That's what? That by two immutable things in which it was impossible. It was impossible. For God to lie. For God to lie. We might have a strong consolation. And yet he said with him. With oh, him. With him all things are possible. With him all things, all things are possible. Are possible. Come on. But then he come back and said it's impossible. It's impossible. For God to lie. For God to lie. And he can't deny himself. That's right. This is what I mean by making the Bible harmonize. Yes. That's right. Just don't throw out a scripture and start running. Make it harmonize. That's right. The God that we wish up, yeah, he can do everything and anything, but his doing is scripturally confined. That's right. He don't go outside of the book. That's right. To do anything. To do anything. For us to believe the book, he come back and do his will according to what is in the book. That's right. So we can investigate him by the book. That's right. Huh? That's right. Frank, I investigate God by the book. Yeah. Oh, and say, who are you to investigate God? Oh, he told me to believe on him. That's right. As the scripture has said. And if he told me to believe on him. As the scripture have said, I'm going to investigate the book. That's right. Search. That way, if somebody come blame God for something, wait, 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 wait. Right. Search the scriptures. He says, search. Search the scriptures. The scriptures. For in them. If you tell me I got eternal life any other way That's that right. contradict the book, I'm going to investigate. That's right. The scriptures. Search the scriptures. Because in them you think you have eternal life, for they are they which testify of me. And you got folks out there testifying of him, so therefore we'll make sure your testimony is scripturally sound, scripturally right, wrapped around with God everlasting word. That's right. Yeah, our God can do anything, but, 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 but I say. Impossible for God to it's lie. It's impossible. Impossible for God to lie. So, if it's impossible for God to lie, go back to 1 Corinthians 15, 50. Back in 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 50. Says what? Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood, flesh and blood. cannot inherit the kingdom of God. And if God say it can't and somebody say it did, you're liars. That's right. That's true. If God say it can't cannot. and somebody come later and said it did, yeah. somebody lying. That's, that's right. God say, oh, it's impossible for me to lie. Impossible for God to lie. What does God say? The word is with him. Yeah, that's, right. that's right. He's the word. I can take God at his word. That's right. Now, you fellas ain't never been in heaven, and you're going to tell me what's up there. That's right. Haven't even, you can't even look through your dirty windows in your house. Amen. And you're going to tell me what's up there? Don't you know the word of God is divinely inspired? All the Catholics, Protestants, Episcopalians, and Lutherans have the same lie. Same lie. When Pope Francis was in Philadelphia and had his large false church downtown. That's right. He said, Jesus is in heaven with a flesh and blood body just like mine. My Lord. Viewers, any preacher from any religion, from any so-called denomination, says Jesus is in heaven with a flesh and blood body, they're Catholics. They can call themselves That's apostolic, right. Pentecostal, or holiness, or whatever. They are, they are descendants of Catholics. They are liars. That's right. Who? Who, Pastor Jenna? All of them. All of them. All of them, because the word of God spoke plain here. Yeah. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot. Yes, we believe that Jesus still is called the Son of God. Yeah. Certainly, that title is eternal. That's right. It's eternal, but he don't have the same look. What? Give me... Revelation 2.18. Right. Re Revelation let, let me show you two. he got the title but a different look. Revelation I, chapter 2 and verse 18. I'm going to show you he got the title but he got a different look. That's right. All right. Revelation chapter 2 and verse 18. Yes. And unto the angel of, unto the, the, angel of the church in Thyatira right. right. These things, These things saith the Son of God. Title. How did he look? Who has his eyes like unto a flame of fire. And what else? And his feet are like fine brass. Same title. Son of God. 
But what he look like? Who hath his eyes like unto a flame of fire? He walked here on earth. His eyes was like no flame of fire. And his feet. Right, because his eyes was flesh. That's right. His eyes was natural. That's right. And fleshy eyes ain't like flame of fire. No. And his feet are like fine brass. Come on. You see what I'm telling you? Amen. Same title. Same, title. same shape. Same figure. Same form, but now he have a glorified body. That's right. And the glorified body had never been to heaven since God been God. That's right. He took a body into heaven that never had been there. That's right. At no time since he been God have he glorified a natural human being. Why? It couldn't go in the way it was. It was. It couldn't go in the way it was, so it had to take on the same nature that the spirit had with the spirit itself. Spirit itself. And when the spirit glorified it, that means the power of God took it all over oh, yeah. in that he lived. Now he lived by the power of sure. God. Right. Same shape, same form, same fashion, same figure, same image, oh, same yeah. title, but it has no more natural life. So he no longer lived by the natural, he lived by the power of God. Is that Bible? 15 chapter, 1 Corinthians, quickly now. First Come Corinthians, on, son, quick, I got to go fast. 1 right. Corinthians 15, we're still at verse 37. Read quick. And that which thou sowest, thou sowest not that body that shall be. Read but, quick. But bear grain, and may chance of wheat or of some of the grain. Yes. There is one glory of the sun. One glory of the sun. And another glory of the another moon. Another glory of the moon. And another, another glory, glory of the, of the stars. stars. One star differs from another they star in glory. They all differ from one another in glory. So, they all differ from one another in appearance and in function. If you ever look up at a beautiful starry night, sky full of stars. But have you noticed some stars shine brighter than the other? Yes. Yeah. But yet they're all up in God's solar system. That's right. But yet they differ in glory. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Oh, yeah. Amen. You can go buy a bushel of apples. I mean, a whole bushel. Each apple going to taste the difference. You can buy a whole bag of oranges. Some is so sweet. Some is bitter. Some you wonder how it got there. That's right. Yeah. See, like when you cut it, dust come out of it. That's right. It's so dry. Come on, son. There is one glory of the sun and another glory of the moon and another glory of the stars. Yes. But one star differs from another star in glory. I told you, be quick. So also is the resurrection of the day. Also is the resurrection of the day. It is sown in corruption. Look at here. It is sown in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. Raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor. It was planted. That body that was planted, they wouldn't honor. They wouldn't respect them. It is raised in glory. But it was raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It was planted in weakness. It is raised in power. Raised in power. It is sown it in natural body. A natural body. That was a natural natural body of flesh and bones, but it had no more natural life and made it a relative of the human race. It is raised. But it was raised. A spiritual body. Spirit took the place of the blood because the blood was shed. Spirit got in the body that was natural flesh and bones. And when the spirit got in it, that's when the natural flesh and bones took on the glory of God. That's right. Then the glory of God or the power of God, that's what it meant when it said it. The word it, it. is pointing to the flesh and bone of the body was the it. And it, it was raised a quickening spirit. The spirit got in it that was dead and resurrected. It revived it. That's right. And the it was still called seed of David. That's right. right. But the it changed. Now it comes to the apostles at a door, not knocking, not knocking. but just appearing. Appearing. Showing you the change. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Spiritual. Now he got a new title. Spiritual. He went from natural to spiritual. That's right. Natural to spiritual. That's right. A spiritual body is a body that got the behavior of the spirit and still can function as natural. Right. Glory to God. That's right. Huh? That's right. All right. It is, it is sown a it natural is sown. body. Blessed be God. You got to get it like Simeon did. Oh, yes. yes. It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. It is body. raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body. I told you. There's a natural body. And there is a spiritual body. Just two different bodies. Two different. That's right. There's a natural. And there is a spiritual. And there's a spiritual. And there is a spiritual body. And a spiritual body. Body. Don't have to be spirit. That's right. Let me throw that monkey wrench in there. Come on. Spiritual and natural and spirit 
different things. In the book of St. Luke, chapter 24. Listen at this. I will start reading at verse 35. He rose a spiritual body. That's true. That's true. Because the natural body took on the spirit of God, the power of God. That's right. But look at what they thought they saw. St. Luke chapter 24 will start at verse 36. What is it? And as they thus spake, Jesus himself stood in the midst of them. And what? And saith unto them, Peace be unto you. And? But they were terrified and affrighted, and supposed that they had seen a spirit. And he said unto them, What? He had to convince them. That's right. Yeah. That's right. They thought they were looking at a spirit. A spirit. That's true. But he had to convince them. And he said unto them, why are ye troubled? Why are yeah. you troubled? And why do thoughts arise in your thought? hearts? Yes, I see you're thinking. I know you're thinking because oh, you yeah. saw me die. Now I'm back. What is it? Behold my hands. Check me out. And my feet. I want to convince you. That it is. Uh, here. That's look right. at my hands. That's right. What's the purpose of showing your hands? To show you my color? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I got to show you proof that, yeah, this is me. You're going to look at my nail prints. That's yeah. right. Huh? And what else? They hold my hands and my feet. Look at my feet because you witnessed them being nailed too. That's right. Who am I? That it is I. It is I. Myself. What I want you to do. Handle me. What? Handle me and see. That's what, what I mean how a spiritual body has function of spirit right. and still can function like a natural body. That's right. He functioned as spirit. He walked through the door. But then when they handled him, he let them handle him as if he was natural, but he wasn't. That's he was right. spiritual. That's right. That's the wisdom of God. That's right. Do you see the broadness of God's ability? Amen. God broadness. Yeah. Listen at this. Behold my hands and my feet. Behold my hands and his feet as I myself. Handle me and see. Handle. Handle. Handle me. Handle. Yeah. Check me out. Handle. Look me over. Handle me and see. And listen at what Jesus said. For a spirit. He let you know what a spirit have and what a spirit. Listen, he let you know what a, I'm getting close to you. <laughs> he let you know what a spirit don't have and what a spiritual body do have. That's right. Jesus' own teaching is telling you That's what right. a spirit don't have. Yes. And what a spiritual body do have. That's right. Listen. Behold my hands and my feet. What is it? That it is I myself. What, what, what I want you to do. Handle me. Check me out. And see. For a spirit. A spirit. Hath not. Have not. Flesh and bones. Flesh and bones. As ye see me have. Like I have it. That's right. A spirit. Hath not flesh and bones. Don't have flesh and bones. As ye see me have. Like I have. So the flesh and bones that came back, it was glorified. glorified. It was a spiritual body. That's right. Spiritual body. That's right. It was not a spirit. No. But a spiritual spirit. body, body have the same behavior. That's right. As a spirit. In the book of St. John chapter 20 and at it verse 19. It the same behavior. That's and right. Jesus cleared it up. That's right. He said, a spirit. Hath not flesh and bones. And he got no flesh and bones. As you see me have. Like I have it. That's right. Yeah. And when he had thus spoken, he, he showed spoke, them. He, wait a minute. He did what? <laughs> he showed them. I got to do the same thing. I got to show you this. His hands and his feet. And it wasn't looking at a spirit. No. They were looking at spiritual. That's right. And he let them handle, handle spiritual That's right. as if it was natural, but it was spiritual. Yeah. Wonderful. Spiritual and spirit, two different things. Different things. Oh, yeah. sure. He took a spiritual into heaven, a body that into heaven, it never been there before. That's right. He never glorified the body and no. took it into That's eternity. Right. So I so said, you're wrong. What about in it? That thing was all translated, gone. That's right. What about Elijah? That was translated. Yeah. Gone. Yeah. Nothing that had the appearance of being begotten went in. That thing was totally translated. That's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jesus, he changed it. Changed it. From natural to Spirit. spiritual. spiritual. And he wanted to make sure they were so convinced yes. that it was I myself, he, made a, he put an order in. That's right. Go to the book of Luke again. Back in St. Luke chapter 24 and at verse 39. After he showed him hands in his feet, he had to convince them. He That's knew right. they were still doubting, so he had to put an order in for some food. In the book of St. Luke chapter 24 and verse 4. Listen! And when he had thus spoken, when he, thus spoke, he showed them his hands and his feet. Real quick. And while they yet believed not for joy and wondered, what? he said unto them, have ye here any meat? I need something to eat. Huh? 
That's right. Then you got any meat. And they gave him a piece of a broiled fish a broad and, fish and fish of a honeycomb. And a honeycomb. And he took it. And what? And did eat before them. He had to convince them. That's right. Spiritual body is not a natural body. That's right. A spiritual body is a body that's controlled, owned, operated by spirit. And when it lives by the spirit of God, it affects the outer part of the body and the inner part of the body. And he gives the body the same behavior as the spirit that's itself. Spirit. That's right. In the book of St. John, chapter 20, and at verse 19. Listen. Then the same day at evening, being the first day of the week, what is when the doors were shut, where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews, what happened? came Jesus. Came Jesus. And stood in the midst. No, he knocked. Came Jesus and stood in the midst. No, he knocked. Came Jesus and stood in the midst. All oh, the apostles just sitting right there, and all of a sudden Jesus just come in. That's right. <laughs> came Jesus. If there was blood in that body, he would have came to the door. That's true. That's right. That's right. Lose the blood on the cross, chisel in the side out, came blood and water, spirit come on in that body. And when the spirit come in, now the body becomes spiritual. spiritual. That whole body now can do what the spirit do. That's right. So even though the door there, when the doors were shut, just come on in. That's right. Why? He ain't got no blood to hinder him. Right. He didn't come here with flesh and blood to show you how to walk through walls. No. He came with flesh and blood to show you how to live right. That's right. But now he changed That's right. from natural to spiritual, spiritual and kept all his earthly titles. Yeah. Kept all his earthly titles. All his earthly titles he kept. That's right. But he changed that body from natural to spiritual. That's right. You're going to tell me your flesh and blood body is in heaven? It's in heaven. The glorified body was not begotten. No. That's true. Because a glorified body is not human. That's right. A glorified body, the Bible gives you its title. title. Spiritual. Spiritual yeah. body. Who in the world is a mama of a spiritual body? That's right. Mary, the mother of God. Not in this life. Not in this life. <laughs> Mary, God's mother? That's right. Not in this life. No way. Not in the life to come either. No, no. Are you getting me? Back in 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 43. That's what? It is sown in dishonor. Sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. Raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. Notice the language. It's used the term it first. It. It. It, it means it's pointing to a body that's there. That's right. That going through a transformation. That's right. What is it? It is sown in dishonor. Sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. Sowing you to change. Yes. Right. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. Now it got power. It is sown a natural body. Show you how it went down. It is so. It is raised a spiritual Show body. Show you how it come up. There is a natural body. And you gonna tell me it ain't no change? Mm. Come on. We gotta. We gotta have a pattern somewhere. A pattern. How That's in the right. world if he ain't gonna change? Well, how are we gonna change? That's right. He got to change first, first in order to demonstrate for us to do it. That's right. Yeah. I believe it was the Apostle Peter said that uh, we must pull off this tabernacle as Christ hath showed me. Oh, yeah. I must pull off this earthly tabernacle as Christ hath showed In me. In 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 13. Listen. Yea, I think it meet. I think it meet. As long as I am in this tabernacle. As long as I am in this body of flesh and blood. To stir you up by putting I, you I in remembrance. I got to preach to you and bring you in remembrance. Knowing that shortly. Shortly. I must put off this my I tabernacle. Got to, I got to, wait a minute. The body is whose? I must put off this my tabernacle. Look at your flesh and blood. That's right. You make the first resurrection, you're going to pull that stuff off. That's right. Yeah. There's something in you that's going to peel it off. That's right. You got to pull that stuff off. Oh, yeah. Listen closely. I must put off this my tabernacle. What is the reason? Even as our Lord Jesus Christ has showed me. That's and right. you going to tell me he's the same way he was? Oh, no. no way. Oh, no. You going to tell me he the same way he was? Amen. Oh, 
The glorified body that exists now have no relation. No. Have no kin to nobody. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. They have the entire characteristics of spirit. Yeah. And still bear the title spirit shows. Spirit yeah. show. Never since he's been God have he took a body and glorified it. Why? In no way it can pass into the heavens the way it was. That's right. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. No, that thing had to be changed. Aren't yeah. you song that we used to sing coming up? We shall be changed. Yeah. Changed from immortal to immortality. immortality. In a twinkling of an eye, you've got to be changed. He showed us the change. That's yeah. right. Left, hallelujah. Left oh, such a beautiful example of the church. That's why the Bible says, I speak this in a mystery. Behold, I show you a mystery. I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep. But what? But we shall all be changed. How much? In a, we shall all be changed in a moment. You it, see, this is a revelation that must be God-given. That's right. Some get it in bits and pieces, but you got to know how to connect the scriptures so you don't lie on God. That's the right. The scriptures are like a jigsaw puzzle. And to get all the ingredients of the puzzle, you got precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little and there a little, not I suppose, not I guess. So yes, can God do everything? Yes, within the confines of his word. His word. That's right. Otherwise than that, God won't go outside of his word and do nothing. That's right. With God, all things is possible? Yes. But he can't lie. It's impossible for impossible him to do it. For God to lie. It is, it, you you got you to be careful what you say about God. He cannot deny himself. He can't lie. Right. Can't deny himself. Can't, deny himself. can't make mistakes. No. Can't err up. That's right. Can't do wrong. That's right. Can't even think a lie. That's right. Not God. Not God. Oh, no. God don't make God don't behave himself the wrong way. That's right. That's the Holy Ghost. He don't behave himself unseemly. unseemly. Not God. Not God. Yet, with God, all things are possible. I just can't throw that statement out and leave it hanging. After you quote that statement, I got to come back with Bible. That's right. Then break it down and analyze it. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. Go back to the book of Joshua. Real quick now so I can knock off because... Uh, I'm not even half finished. So there you have it from Pastor Junior Jennings. Totally debunked. There is no flesh and blood in heaven. It is impossible. And it is also impossible for God to lie. If you are watching this channel for the first time, or if you have not yet subscribed, I recommend that you hit that subscribe button below and hit that bell so that you can be notified when we release these life-changing videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video and bye-bye.